2015 F-150 and we're gonna completely transform this thing to what you see behind us for less than three thousand dollars let's cut to the video All right guys, we got the F-150 inside of here and the first thing we're gonna do to it is we are going to replace those headlights. These are just your standard headlights that come in the XLTs and the Lariats and there's nothing special to them. They just have yellow light bulbs in them and you can see they have seen better days. They're starting to get a little foggy but nothing too bad. What we're gonna do is replace them with these right here. These are a Tri-Pro LED headlight. On americantrucks.com, these headlights will run you $785, but if you look around on eBay and some other places, you can find them for about, I think, $485. I used a 5% coupon with it and got these for $470 with tax out the door. This is gonna be the first mod that we do the truck, so and let's get these on. Damn, this thing looks so sweet. We got one in. Now that you guys saw me do that one, let's see if we can just do this one like, damn, we got the headlights on and this thing looks sweet. So what we're gonna do now is change the wheel setup on the truck. We're rocking the stock 17 inch wheels and we're gonna swap them out with these 20 by 10 fuel assaults. I got these off of Facebook Marketplace for $1,400. These wheels, brand new, will run you about $1,750. And then a set of tires on there are gonna run you probably about $1,200, $1,400 on top of that. So we got these, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. I'd say there's about you know, 60% tread left on these, 70% tread. So I'm pretty happy with it. They're pretty much like brand new. But before we can put these wheels on, we gotta do one other thing, and that is going to be level the front of the truck with a two and a half inch KYX leveling kit. This is just a standard leveling kit. It goes on top of your strut assembly and it will allow us to clear the 33 by 1250s with just this right here. So let's lift this thing up, pull those apart, and then uh, put this on. I don't know how long this is gonna take to put on, but shouldn't be too bad. We got our puck on, and when I got this off, I saw that it has this. I don't know if that's because of this tow package, but you can't remove that because the nuts are different on it. So either I just stacked pucks right now, or I don't know. Either way, I measured it up, and it did have two and a half inches of rake, and that is a two and a half inch puck. So we're just gonna put it on. I was so wrong about leaving these in. The truck sat way higher in the front, and I ended up having to take the whole thing apart and remove these, and these were the stud things that were underneath it that I left in and I had to take those out too. But um, yeah, you can watch me put the whole lift back together with those in it, and then I just ended up taking it all back apart off camera. You can see right here everything that I had to take off to get the strut out, uh, pretty much your upper ball joint. Disconnect that, tie rod, sway bar, and I took the caliber off for some reason. got that one wheel on right there but we don't have anything on over here because we still have to level it and I'm a little eager to actually get these wheels on so I got the back lifted up right here and we're just gonna put the rear ones on and then come over to the front driver's side
All right, it's another day, still raining because it's September in Florida. We just got this thing outside for the first time with the level wheels and headlights in it and it completely changed the look of it. Start tearing up the interior because on this truck, we have a cloth interior. I'll show you guys. It's in good condition for what it is. I haven't even cleaned this interior since I got the truck, but see right here, this is the only show of wear. We got a little rip in it other than that. These seats are in pretty good condition, but I'm not the biggest fan of cloth, and I think we're gonna completely transform the look and make it look like a limited on the inside. So let's get inside and start pulling this interior out. All right, so I got one of the seats done. I still haven't cut out the top parts right here for the headrest. I'm gonna wait till this thing sits in the heat and it really like tightens up. But right here you can see the foam version of the other side of the rear seat. I'm actually gonna time lapse me doing the front seats. If you were expecting like a thorough install and how to install everything, this really wasn't the video for that. It's just kind of showing like what type of transformation you do for under $3,000. Um, there's tons of videos out there on how to do the interior and how to put the leveling kit on it and headlights. Um, I just figured it ended up being like a 45 minute video if I did it like that. different day same weather and the truck is now done and I think this thing looks absolutely sweet there is still two things I want to do to the truck and it's going to be replace this little piece up here which is $28 because there's a crack in it and then get new fog lights that's $50 and this truck will be hundred percent complete for me but I think it came out absolutely sweet all right guys so the headlights came in at $470 we got our leveling kit that cost $45 and I didn't show it in the video, but I ended up redoing the whole suspension again because I had to take out that little puck because this thing looked tooted um, with the two pucks in there. So I had to take that all apart and then we just have one puck in there, which is the two and a half inch level. And it's 100% level now. That was $45. We have the seats that came in at $658 with tax. They still haven't shrunk up yet to the foam inside of the truck. Um, but a couple of hot afternoons in Florida, the leather will, you know, pull back together and there won't be any wrinkles or anything in it. We got our wheels off of Facebook Marketplace for $1,400. Then we just had to get different lug nuts because the OEM lug nuts would not work on this truck. And for a final total of $2,573. But we still have to do an alignment on the truck, which is going to be another $150. So we came in just at about under $3,000 on this truck build, and I think it came out pretty sweet. We'd probably be at $2,000 if you take into consideration selling the stock wheels and then getting about $150 for the OEM headlights, but 
that's it. That's our new work truck.